Today on Fresh Vintage Garage, we're checking out the Think Car 672 scan tool. Got a lot of awesome features as I try to drop it on the ground. We're going to jump outside and show you everything and dig in together right now. Just wanted to shout out the case, see what uh, comes in this case later in the video. And just wanted to shout out this is a not a Bluetooth, it's wired. And the cable length is it's it's okay length. It's not super long. It it's you know not short per se, but if that OBD2 port was over here, it might be better, whatever. But let's dive right into the software and we're gonna throw it on the screen right now. I'm gonna hit enter here and it's gonna go into VIN scan. And while this does VIN scan, just wanted to shout out it is a seven inch touch screen. It does come with a nice screen protector on the actual screen. Uh, 3150 million power battery, like we mentioned. It's not a small battery, it's not a huge battery, but the car is always charging anytime you're plugged in, so it's kind of not that big of a deal. Uh, we'll let it run through the diagnostics here. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi, which is very nice. I took it out of the box and plugged it in and uh, just charged it up while we were running the, uh, the Wi-Fi and the firmware updates. Let's go to Area Select, and we'll do North America. And you can see here's our year making model. And let me just get to the buttons here there we go and on this screen you have a couple different options so you have health report system scan I want to do a health report and what this is going to do is it's just going to go top to bottom and actually run through everything it can find in the car it's going to find every module that it can see on like the actual wiring harness so to speak and just interact with it to see if it's throwing any kind of codes but uh, you're getting a lot of awesome features here uh, 28 service reset functions it is bi-directional control you FCA auto auth guys stick around a little bit later in the video we want to show you the FCA part of the software uh, big shout out to the actual uh, lifetime free subscription updates so the one year warranty on this guy and lifetime software updates on the uh, 672 the think card here so taking a look at this screen here we have 12 systems found 20 data trouble codes and let's look at for example the body control let's click in here and we'll go to read fault code and this is where you can actually see the different things going on if you wanted to click a report you could actually build a report to give to a customer i'm going to click on details here for the top left one and it's actually connected to wi-fi so it's searching to kind of find some more detail on this so we'll let it search and boy i almost feel like that's ai coming out of somewhere and something but i'm guessing that's pulling data from somewhere so it's giving you kind of a general breakdown I wish I could get it to stop, but <laughs> it's giving a general breakdown of what this is. If you wanted to do a Google search, you could actually push the Google search button just to dig a little deeper. So kind of a neat thing to see that they've built into this custom user interface. Let's go back out of here and let's see what this read data stream does. Okay, so taking a look at this, I believe we're pretty much in the live data graphing. Let's click select all and we'll see what happens here. Taking a look at the actual data here, not all of these are graphable, and you can see the grayed out ones, but I'm just going through trying to find what's in here, fuel consumption, and eh, fuel consumption, nobody cares about fuel consumption. <laughs> uh, let's go back to this screen, and I wanted to see if we could combine these, but I don't see where we can actually combine these. I'm just gonna turn the car on now. <laughs> Let's go back out of here and we'll look at the data. If we wanted to record, we could right on the uh, the screen here on the bottom left uh, record button. And obviously if we wanted to do a report, let's click on the report. So, okay, so this is a pre-scan if we wanted to do post-scan, kind of give you an A-B comparison if you wanted to show a customer or maybe have another tech look at it at a later point in time or something like that. Cool to see the actual amount of data coming out of here. Looks like I'm scrolling a little faster than this can catch up, but. So let me turn the car off and forgive the beeping. Let's get back out of here. I want to go find the actuation tests. Now there's actuation tests here, but I want to see if we can, actually we can do the door lock right here. So let's do without monitoring data. And so here's my, my hands and I'm gonna hit start. And there's the door locks. And whoops, it to ask you to stop the function. So I'm gonna unlock those and we'll just do it one more time. So same thing. Kind of cool to see that it has this uh, ability of bi-directional control, so to speak. And I think we can actually do the same thing for the horn. This one's uh, kind of loud, but for obvious reasons. So I'll just try to do this as quick as I can. <laughs> sure the neighbors love that. <laughs> Back at the health report system scan and system selection screen, 
we're going to go into system scan and what this will give you is basically the same thing as the health report and we're not going to finish this entire thing but uh, it'll give you effectively the same thing as the health report but it won't actually give you like a finalized report it's going pretty quick i will say on my 05 crv it is a little slower but uh, because of the computers in the car, not because of the actual scan tool. It's almost done, so we'll just speed this part up and, uh, and get you the actual final report here and see what it looks like. Okay, that actually didn't take long at all. And taking a look at this, a lot of this is equipped, and it doesn't actually say any individual system issues. But let me click on the engine here. I just want to see what this does. I'm guessing it's going to go into yeah so it's going to go into the same thing we were just in and just to further that point let me click back and let's go to system selection because system selection basically is just a manualized choosing process so to speak you just come in here and choose if you want to go into the power steering for example you can read fault codes in the power steering system and then you're actually to the same place where you just click on c2543 and it looks like my guess is it's going to give us the same amount of data yeah, and it's just uh, basically running through that data, just a different system and setup that we saw before. Let's get back to the main home screen. I want to show you a bunch of the other stuff. Forgive me. I don't see another button. Actually, there's a button. Let me just, can I click this button in the bottom? There we go. So I'm going to bottom left button does the main, like getting back to the home screen here. And you can actually swipe left and right on this. So pretty nice to see. Diagnose takes you to, it actually jumped to, because it's plugged into the car, it recognizes it's a Subaru. So it's going to take you into the same areas. So let's uh, let it dive in here and we'll see what it comes up with. And we'll say this has, I believe, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of memory, and it is running Android 10. And I just make that note because those sound like lower end specs, but this isn't a smartphone. It's running, the software is fairly simplistic compared to, say, what you would see on a smartphone. So uh, it, it doesn't need a ton of performance, so to speak. And it's a smaller screen, too. Uh, this is not a 10-inch or even a 13-inch screen. It is a uh, respectable size. This is a very easy to you know put in your toolbox or put in your bag if you're a mobile mechanic kind of thing. Uh, we're back to the same screen, so I, I won't take any more time in here. But let me go to the exit, and then let's get back out to the main screen. So let's go to OBD. I believe this is just your express checkout, so to speak. This is going to take you right into code reading. My check engine light popped on. Why did it pop on? We can find that out here. And we'll just let it run through. Okay, it's going through the different protocols. And it's going to, those are like global around the world type protocols. So, and you can see the data coming out of here. And I'm just going to hit enter. And we're back to the same thing. We can read fault codes. So I'm going to click read fault code. Now, the check engine light is not on in the Subaru here, full disclosure. The reason I say that is you've seen a lot of codes, but those are different system codes inside the actual uh, vehicle. The check engine light itself is not on, per se. So if we wanted to read live data in here, this is where you get more of a, I'll say universal, but top to bottom reading of live data. And looking at this, I do not see a total... Let me just scroll. Okay, so... 53, it's picking up out of this year making model. Sometimes different vehicles, newer vehicles, you might have more live data options available to you. But So we can scroll through these. Let me scroll a little slower to get an idea of what's coming out of the vehicle here. And I'm going to hit select all. And let's hit OK. And we're back to the same screen that we saw earlier. I will say looking at this list, yeah, so we're down to 53. Okay, so me scrolling... I was just scrolling and it had to catch up to me, but there's a lot more data that's available to be graphed here. So I'm gonna click graph. And so we can only choose four things, but here we're going to be able to see that combine that we couldn't see before. Oh, we did see this before, I'm sorry, the same screen. So really nice to see the ability of, you know, digging into the, the systems and each of like sensor readings in case you have some kind of weird electrical gremlin going on, or maybe you have a sensor starting to go funky, but it's not doing it 100% of the time. This is a great way to really watch the data coming out of the systems to see if you can pinpoint that exact issue going on. Let's get back out of here to the home screen. I want to end my diagnostic session. There we go. And let's swipe over.
stick around. There's actually a lot more. I haven't even touched maintenance, upgrade, and more on the top part of the screen. So there's a lot of stuff packed into the scan tool. History is just like it sounds. It's where we scan the cars. And then let's see report. If we had any reports saved, feedback, and then there's some kind of uh, app there. But let's go to maintenance. And this is where you start getting into your service reset functions. And forgive me, I'm just going to zip through. I wonder if I touch this icon. There we go. I touched the uh, little button or icon on the side of the screen. And this is where we get them all more of a, like a commonly seen type of just push a button here. But And we can also sort up top and search. Sorry, not sort. We can search up top if we wanted to search for ABS as an example. And let's go to upgrade. Let's see what's in upgrade here. So diagnostic software. So download and install the latest version. Let's see what's in here. So if we wanted to update our software in here, it does call out. I just saw Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This will work with uh, Chrysler vehicles. We did want to call out in digging through. Let me just dig into the settings here. I just want to show you. So settings. Maintain, I think it is. Nope, universal. User, one of these here, sorry. You have to go into settings and then user, and it says FCA diagnostics. So FCA uh, uh, auto auth kind of thing. You can purchase authenticated diagnostics through this, uh, not website, but this actual scan tool. I say that because you have to buy this. This is not coming with this actual 672 out of the box. And for better or worse, I'm going to show you the price that's in here. Granted, this price is probably going to change over time, but we're shouting this out in the video because if you're an FCA guy and you're working on Chrysler, newer Chryslers all day, every day, you really have to stop and ask yourself, do you want to spend the money here? Or are you going to, quote unquote, go find a different scan tool that will give you FCA auto auth capability, but then you're not getting the software, the free lifetime software updates that the ThinkCar 672 is providing you. So you could go find another scan tool, but you could end up buying subscriptions and end up spending more than the price you just saw there. So just food for thought. We just wanted to shout it out in the video. Uh, maintenance software. Let's see what's in here. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. So really, really cool to see the amount of data that's available and the software, you know, right out of the box in the 672 here. Application software. Let's see what's in here. App. Okay, so it wants you to download. I don't know what dollar fix is, but I'm not down. <laughs> so, uh, app support. I'm guessing this is more just a general app uh, support there. Let's go back to, let's go to more. Here we go. Because there's a few features in here I wanted to show you. Settings, uh, online service, operating. There was other odds and ends modules. That's the one I wanted to show you. So we have TPMS capability, video scope, oscilloscope. List goes on. I won't read off the entire screen, but let's go to video scope. Yeah, so you have to have the actual video scope. And we found a, like a screenshot of the different capable units here. So uh, the oscilloscope, we'll, we'll throw that up on the screen because these are optional accessories you can buy for the 672 here if you wanted to use them. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to jump downstairs now and we're going to unbox you and actually show you what you get in here. Now that you've seen the 672 in action here, let's go ahead and unbox it. And while I do that, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate your, your patronage. Let's get this out of here. I'm notorious for ripping boxes, so I'm going to do my best to not do that. We want to show you what you actually get when you buy this, literally out of the box. Nice case here. 7-inch touchscreen on the 672. And it does have, I believe, a 3150 milliamp hour battery. And you've already seen this thing in the video. But just to take a closer look at it, you know, it has the, uh, it is cabled, wired, so to speak, versus wireless. Charging uh, port and then the USB-A port for the accessories. We'll just set, there's no kickstand, so I'll just set it against the box there. We'll turn it on. There we go. And what's in the box? Little protector there. Manual no one ever looks at. And then we have our cable. And what you saw earlier in the video. And then this is a global tool, so to speak. Obviously, we're making this video for primarily North America, but it is a global tool, so you get the adapters for the U.S. and other charging systems around the, uh, the world. Overall, just a nice unit. Uh, the one thing that uh, we showed you already that we weren't a big fan of was the FCA. You do have to spend the money on it to unlock it. But take that with a grain of salt. You, all you Mopar guys, Chrysler vehicles, newer ones, you may want to 
um, take that into consideration when buying this. But other than that, I mean, it feels pretty solid. I mean, looking at it, I'm not going to drop it, but we, I wish we could drop these, but we're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty solid scan tool. We'll leave the link for this guy in the uh, video description, that you're, the description of the video you're watching now. But with that, we appreciate you watching. If you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your car certified fresh and on the road, Fresh Vintage Garage, your channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.